Hello and welcome back for part 28 of Aranessa versus the earliest ultimate crisis where over the end turn we have been attacked by Karazakrak. This is the second battle. The first one was a reasonably comfortable win for Aranessa out at sea. And now we have a minor settlement defense battle which I have not really fought any of in this campaign except the... Uh, well, except the ones I was doomed to lose against the Crisis stacks. But this battle, I think we will try and win. I'm just trying to decide. The only decision here is just who to give this to. Looking at the Dwarf Army, Lord's not too high rank. He has Tormentor Sword, does not have Rune of Wrath and Ruin, does not have an Altar of Doom. So, not too dangerous there. I think. These units, the missile units, are the problematic ones. Clearly, regular dwarf warriors are going to beat our zombie deckhand mobs in a fair fight, but in the garrison we do have triple handgun units, plus bomber units, plus mortars. Um, we also have our lord and two heroes, we also have... I guess we only have one bloated corpse, huh? Right, they only, they only end up in the garrison if you have a port, that's right. Um, so I think the I think the Dwarf Warriors, the Miners, the Slayers even are not too big of a problem, but we need to make sure we're not getting wrecked by these units just free firing. Let's give this to Mongol. Yeah, he's quite low rank. He's going to definitely need to Bear in mind, he's not nowhere near as strong as the really high, uh, high level one that's been helping Aranessa so much. Alright. So I think there's a temptation when you're defending a minor settlement against the AI to mirror their deployment and split your forces. So if they split into three, which I think they will here, they don't have a full stack. I think they'll split into three rather than four. There's a temptation to split your defenders into three, right? To, like, counter everywhere they're attacking. And I think that's often a mistake. And you you end up in a situation where you essentially weaken one or more of your split forces to the point where they don't really do much for you and just sort of a bit of an extended speed bump. Oh, they've actually split into four. That's quite interesting. They've got no stalking units, so everything is revealed here. Yeah, so I think what I want to do, especially against the dwarves who are so slow, I don't care too much if a couple of these forces come into the settlement and start capping points. I would rather focus my strength at one or two points, absolutely destroy the dwarves there, maybe targeting more dangerous units, and then basically reform after that and hold on to at least a couple of the points. So I'm happy to lose control over a big chunk of the settlement, in other words. So what do we have over here? Yeah, they've got no stalking units, like I said, so they should be fully revealed. So Iron Drakes, Dwarf Warriors. One of these four is going to have a double missile unit. Yeah, this one. And this is Iron Drakes plus Quarrelers. Okay. Yeah, this is a really dangerous... I think, I think this is probably the quarter of the army that I should go after first. It's not too difficult to take down, I think. And I can't afford to let these units kind of just get into the settlement and like attack us from the side or whatever. Because the Quarrelers... Yeah, if anything, the Quarrelers I think are more dangerous than, the, than their Thunderers because of the line of sight. Better, um, you know, not having to worry too much about the line of sight for the guns. Uh, okay, so what does all that mean? It's a really, it's a pretty big settlement, isn't it? I'm trying to decide where to put my artillery. So if we clean this up first, we don't have to worry about an attack over here. Right.
Yeah, there's a couple of places where we could stick barricades and hold the dwarves off for a while. Hmm. Yeah, sorry for taking a while of this. It's just like there's definitely quite a few options. Alright, I think, think here's what I'll do. I'm going to try and hold... I'm going to try and hold this part of the settlement, which is basically like the south part. Um, so, there's a couple of choke points that we're going to fight most of the dwarf army in, which is this one here. Yeah. Uh, yeah, this one, this one here. And either this one, or... If I can't hold this point, or if I can hold this point, the doors are slow than this one. So, if I stick my mortar here... Yeah, perfect. So in range of this stuff that we're going to focus on immediately, and then it can turn around and shoot a lot of other stuff too. Right. So we want the... Mongol Haunter here. Nothing. There's nothing too strong here for him to have to worry about. I mean, obviously he will get worn down in melee against the Dwarf Warriors, but it's not like their Rune Lord is over here or the Slayers are over here. And I think what I want to do... Basically use my heroes. Oh, I've got Wind of Death. Okay. Oh, uh, okay, okay. So my lord has Wind of Death, not... Uh, maybe he has the Overcast? I'm not sure. Alright, that's gonna make things a lot easier. We serve. Mob. Yeah, we're obviously gonna take a bit of fire from these Quarrelers, but I think that's okay. I'll have the Bats here too. Just absolutely concentrate on this lot. We don't have too much to move backwards. Um, to, to reposition to basically hold on to hold on to this. I could put a couple of speed bump units around the other side. Let's not use the bloated, bloated corpse. I think the bloated corpse can, can have a lot of value later when um, masses of dwarf warriors are maybe trying to push through this choke point or something. Right. So the plan is, bring out my heroes, single entities, Pin down their missile units here with summons or just like running into them with the Mongol. Pound the Pound the um yeah, pound them with the mortars. And then bring in other units to help finish them off. Right, so to that end, let's have Yeah, that'll do I guess. These units ready to uh, come on out. Don't think we should need. I think the regular zombie mob because we we're going to be summoning more stuff here. I don't think the re the regular deckhand mob is actually that important for this. So let's keep them keep them back. And. Yeah, because we only actually have to hold one point. I know, I know I'm just sort of stating the obvious there. Um, I think what I'll do as well... What's the line of sight like from this tower? That's one of the things that just sort of irritates me about this game is... Like, yeah, I mean, you can imagine the tower just clipping into this building that's going to be in the way. So this tower position is not actually that great. I'll still, I'll stick a tower here, but I'm thinking I won't bother saving up for something more expensive. I'm not actually sure how effective the high tier towers are for the Vamp Coast. Alright, so where was I? Deploying my deckhands. Right. Yeah, so this is the garrison which is expendable basically. I think you can start here. I'm not 
I'm not messing this up, am I? No, this, this is the only other way they can go through, unless they want to go all the way out of the settlement and back in. That doesn't really make a lot of sense. I've never seen the AI do that. Right, and then I've got... You... And then say you two. I'm hoping these units don't have to get into melee prior to um, us finishing with the first war force. Yeah, okay. Uh, I need to, I've still got some of the units out of position here. What is, what's over this way? Oh, the handgun unit that's actually in my army. Right. Shuffle things around a little bit here. What we want ideally in the choke point is to use single entities or summon units, temporary summon units, be able to have a clear line of, sh of sight with multiple handgun units. So. I'll leave these units here for now, we can move them later. Hmm, pardon me. Uh. Drinking too much water or something. All right, I think this is I think this is looking fine. Not a hundred percent confident about how this will play out. Let Let's stick a tower here. Hopefully, there's some use against troops coming in this way. I don't need a barricade here or here. We may. I mean, I guess we could put a barricade here. All right, let's do it. So essentially selecting all these units and saying, get in here and attack. Of the undead. And we're gonna get summons on top of their guys right away here. Get the mortars, I think, we can shoot those corollas. Um Having the bats charge in, probably not the best idea. On it. Yeah. Stick in the iron drakes. We want them in melee. Yeah, we're taking missile fire from the quarrelers here. That's alright. Uh, we're looking a bit weak over here though, aren't we? Let's have the bombers maybe go after them. This is looking good though. The iron drakes have been, have been wrecked. Let's have the bats come after the quarrelers. Now, hopefully, yeah, the dwarves obviously, <laughs> dwarves only move at dwarf speed, so, that's fine. Uh, yeah, this looks good. Yeah, unfortunately this unit's getting a bit wrecked, but it needed to hold this, they kind of needed to pin these dwarves down, just because, um, We'll wreck them with the bombers in the rear, that won't be a problem. This unit's almost routed. Okay, I think we can start... Let's start redeploying the handgun units, because those are going to be... It's really important to get them positioned well... Um, ...for the next wave of dwarves. So just for now, I'll have them move back there. Alright, they're routed. Okay. These Dwarf Warriors have indeed gotten completely wrecked by that missile fire. Looks like we might use, lose this unit, but that's fine. Um, well, let's have... Yeah, just leave the bats to run stuff down. They're, they're not really going to do much against the, the rest of the Dwarf Army. So you turn around. You can come back over this way. You can keep killing stuff, I think. Yeah, we need these units to shatter. That's... that's yeah. We, if they rally, that's pretty annoying. Yeah, run after them. Good. That was exactly what I needed to have happen there. Oh, never mind. You'd never volley for the Iron Drakes. These ones shouldn't rally with the bats right on top of them. The bats are... Oh, don't disintegrate. Yeah, those are shattered. Okay, good, good. Right, we've got Slayers in here right away. Okay, uh, let's get... We also have missile troops here, so we need the mortars to shoot those Thunderers. Yeah, for sure. 
need my lord and hero to get over here. I'm gonna have to pull these troops back in this direction. Is this tower actually doing anything? Well, I don't have a better use of the resources here anyway. Wind of death and so on is gonna be good here. So is the bloated corpse. Let's pull. It's gonna, it looks kind of weird to be pulling melee troops back, but we really need... We just need better positioning for, the, for our guns here. That one unit is going to get destroyed. This is a great positioning for the Blooding Corpse. Just wreck that unit, though. How have we not routed those silly Iron Drakes? Oh, whatever. Okay, everything else here taken care of. Looks like we just lost the bats. Yeah, the bats, the bats were winning successfully ran down the enemy unit and then just like the binding was too weak alright this looks good this looks good seeing a lot of low health dwarf units yeah this is exactly the kind of crossfire we wanted uh, obviously need to make sure that the lord doesn't uh, didn't die but yeah this is a situation I wanted for sure just gonna pop this right now because we can benefit from the um, Reload reduction and stuff. Let's have you come round to go for those missile troops. Yeah, this is good. Now we're gonna have another wave. Yeah. Okay, another wave from this side. Um, we just have kind of fodder right now to deal with it. That's okay. We can just feed them these garrison units, I think. Yeah. Nice. We've routed the units here, and it looks like we get a clear run at their missile units. Yeah. Lost a victory point, that's cool. It's not a problem. Oh yeah, yeah, the slayers are here. Slaughter. So I think what I want to do, just summon... Just summon zombies behind them here. Alright, get them closer by, whatever. Yeah, we can still hit them with the guns. That's That's going well. So I've got, what have we got here? More Thunderers, okay. Uh, yeah, that's gonna be a bit of a problem. Let's have our... Let's have these units we deploy over on this side. Where's their Lord? Oh, he's coming around this way, okay. Yeah, lots of this dwarf stuff is going to rally. It's very low life though. I'm not. I'm not too concerned about having to beat it again. Um. Yeah, fleet captain, fleet admiral, doing just just okay here. This one getting a bit beaten up by those dwarves, but I think we can fall back now and have them just get wrecked by the, the handguns. Victory's on our grasp. All right, very good. Yeah, and the fodder is holding here. Didn't see what the bloated corpse did. Oh, the bloated corpse probably did, did quite a number on the clumped up dwarf units, actually. Right. We do need to kill. Oh, I do want to kill that lord, though. Um, let's go for those thunderers. Fleet captain. Okay, one of you come over here. Get going. Can I get a tower or anything over on this side? Not really. Alright. Considering. Considering it's just sort of fodder units we have here. I'm actually holding for an okay amount of time. Do I have dwarves incoming from anywhere else? No. Here is their lord, though. Right. So we need to try and focus him. How much damage is that doing? Hmm. Oops. Hopefully reasonably efficient or effective. Fleet Admiral. Uh, I don't really want to cast another Wind of Death. Let's cast another one of those spells. Yeah, just fire into melee. I don't care what happens to my summon stuff. Hopefully I've left enough over on this side. Alright, you can come back and help. Alright, so we're losing here. Yeah, never really positioned properly to let the guns fire. That's okay. Looks like the Mongols have gotten on top of... Yeah, he's gotten on top of the Thunderers. That's good. Unit got wiped out. Alright. Yeah, let's just get more summons down. Oh, I need to kill those silly Iron Drakes. 
Speed Master. I've not really touched that Lord yet, but that's kind of an issue of line of sight on the uh, guns. Yeah, you have to really be careful of how much damage the small number of dwarves can still dis uh, dis out to you. It looks like they're close to getting the army losses, though. Yeah. Nice, nice. All right. Very good. So it didn't take too much damage, I think, on the units actually in my army. And we should be able to do a little bit more healing, although that's not going to matter too much. I say army, but yeah, I guess I was planning to disband a lot of this stuff anyway. Alright, chase him down, if you can. Yeah, I think my plan worked. My strategy did work out well there. I mean, what I wanted to happen basically happened, so... Yeah, we're going to have some extra units just dying, but whatever. Fleet Captain. Let's do another heal on yourself. I think try and maybe catch those Thunderers. We'll be able to finish them off. Well, yeah, we should be able to finish the army off relatively easily. Interesting to know how much damage this tower did, but I don't think the game tells you that. Oh, how are failing to catch this dwarf? All right, it is what it is. We did not let much survive over on this side. It's funny you've got multiple experience chevrons building up on the uh, <laughs> the garrison units. Okay, we can speed this up. We've got more magic coming in. Is there anything else that needs healing? Um. Where would this, where's this unit? Ah, oh, this unit's over here. Yeah, let the Mongol go after those, looks like he can get them. Mongol did pretty well. It's really, yeah, it's a very strong, um, strong unit when it's not up against things that can fight back, which I guess sounds kind of obvious. Whoa, we caught the enemy lord. Oh damn, trusty Monfort just beat his ass. Okay, I thought the Lord had most of his health left, and we weren't even necessarily catching him, but uh, never mind. Uh, that's good. Alright, I think we've done enough here. Let's just try and do a tiny bit more healing. Yeah, part of my... I only got 8 kills in the Bloody Corpse. Oh, okay, okay, but look at this. 26.5k 20, damage. So yeah, it basically blew up and, and like did several units worth of HP damage, but it didn't register many kills. But that's what weakened up that initial push behind uh, the victory point by the tower, which let me then, you know, route those units fairly easily with the mortar and stuff. So the Bloody Corpse actually did a really good job, I think. Yeah, I think they will survive with some units that we can then run down on our turn. I think we wiped up both these units, which is good. Didn't wipe out the, the three missile units, but that's that's okay. Yeah, that was... That was a good win, for sure. Which is nice, because I think we have a bunch more stuff happening over this end turn. Um... Right, so that replenishment doesn't really do anything. We're not going to be attacked here again this same end turn, so we'll get a little replenishment, which is it's just this unit we needed help with. Capture the standard, cool. Yeah, let's get that money. Okay. Alright, so great success against Karazakarak. Now I'm concerned about this, uh, yeah, the Barrow Legion I think is sort of the other concern this turn. Okay, there's another Lord raising troops in Castle Carcassonne. Huh, okay, that's not what I thought that Lord would do. Okay, never mind. They kind of wimped out.
Uh, wonder if I can get Arkin to go to war with the Sentinels. Yeah, these ones are sort of screwed now because I don't have a settlement. But we also, they're no longer at war with us, so they're not coming after our, our territory. Alright. So yeah, that end turn went great for us. Trusty man foot picked up a rotting Promethean, alright. Okay, so we didn't intercept the caravan, but we got at least some money from it making... It must have been heading for Myrmidons, yeah, okay. So we do get some money from that, that's cool. I uh, don't know why that's coming up, as Ambush discovered. Yeah, so let's take stock of the situation then. We've got this army that didn't feel like attacking Myrmidons or Verdanus and has tried to run away, but they've not they've not managed, have they? We can attack them. If I want, I can hit them with both these stacks. Alright, this is the remnants of the army that lost our own S at sea, which is not getting stronger this turn, because they're in force march, although this one's recruiting no, a bit more. I will not shame my clan. Um, right, and then there's this lot. Not likely. They've got a new lord, which is, I think, probably good for us because we get to kill him essentially for extra gold. Of the fleet. Oh, the bloody the bloody cup survived. That's really funny. I didn't even think about the the dead rise again, just straight up reviving the bloody corpse. and it has enough HP as well Stop that. that I can actually I could actually use it again. Alright, let's start with, just do a quick check of anything else that happened that I need to take care of. Um, All bones no one came to attack us here. Yeah, so situation, situation in the north really lo not looking too bad. We've sort of secured, for now, the um, Athol Lauren. Yeah, that all went great. So yeah, let's do this fight first. And level up, trusty Montfort and friends. Right, I mean, we definitely want to get extra discounts down here eventually, but right now let's just max out the magic. Ready to swordfish. Oh, this is the guy with Aranessa. Okay, well, still, that's fine. The sea knows my fate. Yeah, I don't. I think this um, fleet captain maybe will go join another lord who doesn't already have vampire magic, but. For now, she Admiral can stay here. Fleet. And yeah, level up for you. I think this skill point's good. Yeah, it's, it's kind of more effective than... It's honestly more effective than putting points here, although I will be also doing that. Sure. I am a so what do I want to do with this army? Um, it's costing me a bit of money, although most of that's the heroes, which I'm certainly not disbanding. I think we can probably get rid of all this stuff afterwards, so leave Trusty Monfort here, just like very slowly building up his ship. I can right, so... The seas are my domain. Just look at this. I have no yeah, we don't need any this. more troops. Hopefully we can auto-resolve this. Yeah, I don't care if anything dies. Alright. Yeah, the bloody corpse is always going to die in auto-resolve, that's right. And we can just take some more money. And the bloody corpse refuses to die and gains an experience chevron. That's awesome. I wonder what's the highest amount of experience chevrons anyone's ever gained on a bloody corpse from having it just repeatedly survive through the battles with that uh, dead rise again. Yeah, that's funny. I almost want to keep it. Eh, <laughs> yeah, only almost. Alright. Probably want both earthing and magic reserves, yeah. Great. So you can't really do anything else helpful this turn. I think... Probably gonna get... Yeah, probably gonna get forces building up here and coming towards us. 
Uh, um, don't have a great sense for military strength of, of Krezakrak out in the Badlands. They're fighting Wurzag, but Wurzag's, Wurzag's kind of split now. He's actually lost territory here to Krakazul. In fact, looking at this, it's kind of clear that Wurzag is not a major threat to us right now, right? Just, yeah, he's got too many other people he's fighting. Good, good. Would be good to come and take this though, um, even if we can't do, don't expand too much further right now, just to stop this as like a staging post for Kreza Crack attacking us. But we want to deal with this army as well. So what shape is Burke Black in? He's at full strength and so is Aranessa. Okay. The queen of tides. And I can make that attack and still make it back. Uh, yeah, if I want Aranessa to catch the exotic goods hauler, then I want to be starting to head back here. All right, what I can do... My compass. No. I think I will auto-resolve this if the game lets me, as in if, the, if I don't get... Um, if I'm not going to have units wiped out. Another victory. I think with the two stacks we ought to be fine. Yeah. Uh, we'll take damage here, but honestly, we're going to take some damage from this anyway. Uh, we don't get to kill this lord, unfortunately he's too high rank, but getting rid of him is good. Oh, I might steal a potion of healing. Yeah, we already have all the good banners assigned there. They do make a little difference in, in order resolve. Good. Alright, so no items stolen, but plenty of money. Bit of replenishment onto Burk Black or more gold. I think I just want more gold. There's so much to spend gold on. Yeah. Exchange them for plunder. Okay. Fear the pirate queen. Now. Do I have time to take Grunty Mingle? With Aranessa. Yes, master. Don't think I have enough movement to get over there with Burk. Like to land and then make the attack. Um, Fleet Captain reporting. All right, let's maybe see what are we going to be dealing with from the east up this way. Okay, so these ones are obviously rebuilding Your troops. Course. They're not at war here, and no, these aren't right. at war with each other either. Okay, so this stuff is surely coming for us, right? Sooner or later. All right, so Krasakrak is at war with the ogres, who are somehow not dead. Yeah. Hanging on. Still refusing to make peace of us, that's funny. Yeah, so Zvorik could be threatened in two turns, and we obviously need strong... We need a strong defense for this. Mm, let's do the level up points while I'm thinking. Don't only rate charge bonus, but... Oh, we can put points into Mentor. Yeah, we've got we've got tons of points left on, on the Haunter. I guess I could stick points here as well. I was thinking of putting points into Devastating Charge. Alright, uh, what was I doing? Yeah, I can't really imagine wanting... Fleet captains to be out of the army doing hero actions too much. Do I ever need Curse of Years? I don't. I guess I may as well pick it up, right? How many more points do I have with this lady? Roughly 15. Yeah, that's tons. Could also get. Yeah, I could, so I could make her better at fighting, but I don't need that, right? I've maxed out her defensive s skills. No, let's let's put more points into you, kind of utility stuff. Alright, you really have everything here too. Okay. I do like that they added the mental eruption. It's as um yeah, I like the fact that you get you get paid off for having high rank heroes. I think it's uh that effect plus plus just having more points to um to use in the late game on high rank 
heroes who have maxed out their tree otherwise is, is good. Uh, what am I doing here? I think Burke Black... I've got lots of troops here that would actually benefit from... From this point right here? Yeah. Okay. Buccaneer of the dead. And yeah, you're not in an army right now, but let's have you grab with death. Okay, so the decision the question is, do I have someone come to Grunty Mingle? They're obviously gonna build up another stack and just ship it over here. If Aranessa does that. Can she get over to Sartosa before the Exotic Goods Hall? I think the Exotic Goods Hall is going to make it here in three or four turns. I think I might have enough movement with Aranessa, though, honestly. I think I can make this attack. And have Burke basically go back to covering this uh, sort of flank. Okay, we have to attack the settlement. We don't have movement left, so... This is Occupy or Loot and Occupy. Alright, don't like the look of that. Perk victory, medium casualties. But they actually have defenses here? No. No, they don't. It's just a field battle. Alright, so this... Yeah, we... Really shouldn't take any damage here. Uh, let's see. Can I... I must. Just wondering if I can get more healing... Uh, let's let's see if I can get a healing item for this one. Um, we don't need Forbidden Rod. What about the Moonshine? This, yeah. Why doesn't it let me just take items straight off? All bones on deck. Yeah, transfer between heroes. I don't really understand that. Get my hook. Okay, and I already have. Yeah, we already have that stuff in our Nessa. Cool. Attack! So we'll just make this attack, fight it manually. Oh right, we'll try and kill this lord. Ancestors. Obviously, it's stopping his recruitment either way. Yeah, and it's really just the organ guns, and we can have the Morn Girl go for them. Yeah, this should be absolutely fine. I think honestly, we sh I mean, we should be aiming to just net gain HP in this fight, right? Because of Invocation of Nahek. How do we end up getting damage here? It must have just been the auto resolve. Figured it somehow. Hmm. Maybe it assigned damage from bats or wolves to... It looked at the army when we were auto-resolving against the vampire counts and just put some damage on our... ...backline from their fast or flying units. Uh, I don't know. Alright, this map looks fine for us. No need to deploy forward. Let's, um... Just do the usual stuff with the artillery. of so you come around this way, I think. He will regenerate once he gets into melee, so yeah, I'm not too concerned about his HP. Alright, sort of deploying on a hill, which isn't great for the guns, but I don't think it's going to matter, really. Okay. Oh, nice. We've got the regeneration banner on Aranessa. Yeah, so she's going to be full healed here as well. Oh, yeah, that's right. And a lot of this stuff is on Force March. Yeah, I mean, there's really no reason for us to take damage here, like I was saying. Alright, you're in range. You can just stand and shoot. Might as well pop the moonshine right now. Let's get some... 
summon stuff over there. Nice uh, angle for the incoming mortar barrage. Not that it actually hit much, but that's okay. That's a thought that counts. Yeah. I could cast Wind of Death here and it would do something, but honestly, I don't think I need to. Right, the Overlord's come in over this way. Um, but he's just gonna arrive and get slaughtered, I think. Yep, so just focus down these organ guns. Dwarves are happily flamethrowering our poor uh, summon zombies, that's cool. I think the melee units are really very dangerous here. Get that debuff down. Debuff. He's gonna debuff that lord, but he hasn't even made it into melee, has he? Yeah. Morgan Gun's basically out of here. It's not a super high value winter death, but honestly, they just don't have very much. And I think we'll focus on their lord. Master of the grave ship! Gunless is out! Oh, right, wasn't paying enough attention over this way. I think we just shot our own uh, Gunry White. Well, it's not a big deal. Dwarves doing their best to bait me into hitting them with another wind of death. Yeah, I, I guess I'll fall for that. <laughs> Using fall a little loosely. Yeah, we've actually... Oh, no, no, we haven't killed that lord, really. Just yet. Yeah, you go after. Does anyone. I think made, th made it through? No, no. Okay. Alright. Bring up the rest of the troops. Yeah, plenty of magic left here. I'm not actually taking very much damage in melee. Oh, and I just saw that Lord take massive. like, have a massive chunk of health taken off him. Good stuff. To be fair to the dwarves, they are fighting pretty hard here. Have we killed the lord? No, he's here. Okay. I'll drink soon. And this poor dude's coming in, just in time to get slaughtered as well. Like the army losses. Good stuff. So all the stuff here is definitely getting wiped out. We do need to go okay. kill this fellow though. Or he will live. But yeah, we don't need to bother running down these units because they're in the settlement, so they all, we're gonna get the full kill credit. Of course! Guess we can give that guy a smack on the way out though. No. Don't suppose you're in range. No. Uh, we might have timed this slightly. We kind of routed their army a little too quickly there, in the sense that we should have let this guy get closer before we, we killed him off. Alright, never mind. Yeah, let's try and get after him and hit him with a net. Yeah, we should be able to kill that lord. We should. I think we're getting the kill credit anyway, I just want to do this. You know how it is. Oh, this, this one lives. Oh, no, no, maybe he doesn't. He was at the bottom of a hill and I thought he was far closer. No, he's, he is going to get off there, isn't he? 
Getting getting a way to get more speed on um, Aranessa and even over here would definitely be nice. I think my only hope here reduces the enemy leadership, and I know this affects speed. I'll maybe sneak around him, but. To get around him and then push him back this way, but I think he's close enough to the edge. Yeah, we didn't knock him down. Go on. Alright, that's progress. Come on, Aaron Esther. Oh, we hit him with the net. Right, right, right. We hit him with the net, and then Aaron Esther was just hanging out. Come on, you. Yeah, we did. We did basically full heal though. He's got speed five. Come on. Surely, oh, we just helped push him towards the edge of the battlefield there. No. Ah, I think. Yeah, I don't think we can stop him getting off. All right, whatever. We stopped him recruiting. We don't need to kill that stuff. I think that Lord was only rank 2 or something. I think I'll just occupy this. We might be able to get defenses up here and actually hold it for a while if Krasakrak don't have another army built up in the vicinity. 2,000 gold off that, that's good. Yeah, this guy got away. Yeah, we don't have enough movement for sacking. It doesn't really make sense to raise this, I don't think. We're here now. Obviously have the option to abandon it later if somehow that'd be worthwhile. Okay. So what was I going to do with points here? I think Specialist and Assassinate. And max out that. Uh, I guess points on Wound for you. Mm, we still only took this at tier 1. Okay. Well, at least the Vamp Corruption is going to be getting a fair way up. Yeah, now, Burke Black, you need to head back to... I think go to Maragliano. Then back to Vedanus. Yeah. Healing over the intern, and we can move either out to Zvorak or... respond to, yeah, anything in this kind of area, because Aranesa is going to be heading west. Trusty Montfort... Don't need that stuff. Yeah, I will disband these units. We are aligned. And, and this guy, yeah, these two are actually supposed to be heading up to Bretonia, which is going to take a while for them to get there, but let's get back on with that. I thirst. Very well. Should get the Skaven to go to war with, with this guy, who's just... I will not obey! The remnants Unlike. of uh, the Sea Shanty faction. Sea dog. Right, let's 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 take a look at diplomacy what here. Do you uh, join war like against. Huh. Hold on. You already yeah you war of exotic goods hauler. But not Middle Sea Brigands, but they don't show up here. Unless I'm just blind and missing them, which is possible. Oh well, no, never mind. Yeah, while we're here though, let's talk to. Yes! Just have a quick check of this. 
Admiral no. Of okay, let's fleet. talk to um shoot. Let's talk to Arkan. Yeah, who has a high opinion of us, is not fighting anyone strong, and is taking a decent chunk of territory for himself. I'm happy with that, I think. Uh-huh. Wow to the Lich King. So join War of Sentinels, I think, is what I want to look at here. He's not willing to do it. Oh, I could pay him a bit of money to do it. Mmm. Oh no, hold on. We can probably do this in a cleverer way. If I declare war on these ones, we take a reliability hit because we just signed the peace treaty recently, but no such issue for those ones. Oh, and that actually makes them less likely to accept. What? Yeah, minus seven. Uh. Yeah, he actually doesn't. He actively doesn't want me to go to war with his enemies. Isn't that weird? What else could I offer here? Um. He's allied with the Awakened, okay. Oh, that's a little that's a little awkward. Yeah, we don't have to worry about it right now. I eventually do want to go take Galleon's graveyard though. Maybe when Aroness has dealt with the stuff at sea, uh, over over here. So am I paying him this money or not? The thing is I think if Arkan's uh friends with me, we're sort of safe from the south, which is a big deal. I think we're going to have the Sentinel's army. There's a good chance the Sentinel's army ends up heading up towards us if it doesn't have someone else to fight. And Arkham would count as someone. We've got lots of gold. This is more than I would have wanted to pay for sure, but whatever. Perhaps. If this ends up dooming Arkham to getting taken over by the Sentinels, I don't really care. Oh, you're not at war with the Sentinels one. either. I have only one good ear, yes, huh. yes, but I still hear you. Yeah, he's not interested. Fine, fine, fine. Okay, so everything down here I think is taken care of. Jacqueline Holloway. Yeah, what I really want... I've got a hero who should be coming back from being wounded soon. The second Gunnery White. And he can take over as doing the scouting. Yeah, he's back next turn. Excellent. Then Burke Black. I can make space in his army and get this hero into it. Yeah. So don't wander up further that way, because I don't want you getting wounded or something. Just give me vision of this, that's fine. No sign of movement from... You stand before the Balthazar Gelt, who's fighting Sylvania, but still thinks we're the main threat. Yeah, okay. Alright, I think we're free to be more aggressive here in Bretonia, so let's have Robin Coates go for Castle Carcassonne. Can I make that, make that in two turns if I'm normal march? It looks like yes. Can go into encamp stance. Oh, that's perfect at the edge of our territory, actually. That's good. Yes, yeah, so we don't need encamp stance. Alright. Can use it anywhere, I guess. Should be able to get to this army before much gets recruited. Definitely want more vision in this direction, though. And O Bones McDonald. Yeah, so we had to raise some more expensive units here just because of concern about getting attacked from Montfort. Um, hmm. I think I just pull back to Waterfall Palace. Yes, Public order must be awful here, right? No, it's pretty bad. Yeah, let's just stay back in Waterfall Palace. I will be more aggressive with this lord, but I'm just concerned about um, I'm just concerned about just not having vision of enemy armies. Like, I don't think occupying Paravan right now is, is particularly worthwhile. But yeah, very good that we're, we're pushing the front out to actually be fighting over these other settlements and not so much fighting over stuff in here. We've got... Yeah, growth taking forever, that's not a surprise. Okay, now well, slowly progressing. Mm. What else was I gonna do? 
think I can leave my... Yeah, I'll leave my banners and stuff on Aranessa this turn. Could do some recruitment on her. Do I need or want to do that, though? I don't think so. I'm still fine of keeping these two units. Yeah, global recruitment, everything is a bit too slow, yeah. Oh, okay, here. Admiral. Maybe... Oh, one thing I could do with trusty Montfort. Let's recruit... Yeah. Let's recruit two of these guys, and then hand them over to Aranesso at some point. Or, yeah, move here and then start doing that. Follow ship. Because that way Aranessa does not have to sit still for two turns. I do want to try out these two these two units instead of the um, basically Those like the human equivalent. Yeah, I could maybe if I was recruiting them with Aranessa they'd have some experienced chevrons, but whatever. No need to disband these right now. Uh, okay. Building upgrade available, outpost available. Yeah, so we can spend some money here. Nothing needed here or here. Let's go through this in a actually logical order, which I usually forget to do. All right, we can do spend a little more money on infrastructure here. Um. That's pretty cheap. Let's get this to tier 3. That's also pretty cheap. Let's get that upgraded. Should have a full stack in Myrmidons. Yep, yep. Okay. And we will get that to tier 3. Frankly, it doesn't give us a huge amount. Let's see. Let us upgrade that building. I think the tier 3 settlement buildings do give a fair amount more income, though. Uh, 200 to 300. Yeah. Okay. And then we're just back to the forest. Alright, so a bit of extra money maybe for shipbuilding. Can I get an army discount anywhere? By. Not here. No, we need more growth points for you. And I probably don't have enough money to upgrade... Burks? No, Burke is good. How about... The yeah, trusty Montforts I could upgrade. 3,000. Um, got enough for this, just not enough money. It's close, though. Oh, that gives me an extra fleet captain. I kind of want that. Uh, okay. Let us cancel something relatively unimportant like that money upgrade. Right. That lets us do this. Gonna be almost broke next turn. Uh, is that a problem? It's not great. Um, hmm. Might not get a fight with Varanessa. Not sure if this one's going upstream or downstream. I can't remember. Whatever fighting could we do next turn for money? I guess I can always... Yeah, I mean, I can always cancel... Stuff like this. Yeah, I don't think it's a problem. We shouldn't have to end up in a situation where we're going, like, actually ending up bankrupt and taking extra attrition at the start of next turn somehow. Okay, well that went really well. We didn't have as brutal an end turn as I thought we might. The Barrow Legion kind of didn't do anything much of all, much at all. Um, I'm assuming we're not going to get attacked over the end turn here. Don't think we should. Yeah, that looks good. Right. Fair winds and fair attacks. You want me to declare war? Oh, they entered their defensive alliance with us. All right, whatever. All right, Dickie Claw, what are you up to? You're sending your armies after Lothan. Ambitious. I like it. Alright. 
Uh, and more vision for us up here. Nice. Good job, dude. Yeah, definitely seeing Grum's armies is useful. I think we're at the point now where we can... If I have enough warning, I can get enough force in place to basically deal with anything that the AI throw at us. Ha, huh, this is a Sentinel's getting wrecked. Yes, okay, nice one. I'd lost line of sight of the Sentinel's army, but Arkin just threw three armies against it and took them out before they got a turn. Yeah, that guy's bailing. Okay, I did see some build-up of Barrow Legion troops in the east, though. Bloody Hands, ah, oh, yeah, Bloody Hands are, are in a lot of trouble. I think we're not concerned about them at all at this stage. Block army. Oh, man. That is annoying. Yeah, okay. Mur. I would definitely have rather that did not happen. Didn't see Barrel Legion army moving down this direction, though. Um. Yeah, here come... Yeah, we kind of expected that. That should not be a group of... That should not be a high-tier army, though. Ah, oh, Black Book Clan is going the wrong way. I was hoping Aranessa could kill him without having to, to move upstream, or like up the river, but... Alas. Next time. Mad Millison we might be able to catch here, though. Oh, he's going to raise an army there. That's a bit annoying. Harry the Creeper is back. Yeah, that's good. Uh, where have they appeared? Hopefully... No, I don't actually see them. Oops. I haven't counted them though, so they're within vision. Hmm. Oh, looks like the game just crashed. Well, that's fine. I was going to end the uh, video at the start of this turn anyway. Alright, thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next part.